Hi everybody, it's Cindy with Twisted True Sin. How you guys all doing? Okay. So case number CR3320302. Probable cause affidavit of Detective Ron Ball. And it's the state of Idaho versus Lori Noreen Vallow, aka Lori Noreen Daybell. I am aware that Lori Vallow moved to Rexburg with JV near the first week of September 2019. I'm aware that JV was enrolled for three weeks at Kennedy Elementary School in Rexburg, Idaho. I am further aware that he was seen by neighbors at and near his apartment in Rexburg. Through this investigation, RPD has learned the last day JV was seen alive was on September 23rd. 2019 at Kennedy Elementary School. On September 24, 2019, Lori Vallow informed the school that JV would no longer be attending Kennedy Elementary School and that Lori would homeschool him. Kennedy Elementary has informed RPD that no other school has made requests for JV's school transcripts. I was familiar with Lori Vallow because the RPD had previously been contacted by Gilbert and Chandler, Arizona Police Departments, who requested help with search warrants for a vehicle in Lori's possession. Said vehicle was related to a possible attempted murder of Lori's niece's ex-husband, Brandon Boudreaux, in Arizona. The Gilbert Police Department was interested in this vehicle because it had been identified in an attempted shooting of Brandon Boudreaux in Gilbert, Arizona on October 2, 2019. Brandon had previously been married to Lori Vello's niece, Melanie Boudreaux. At the time of his attempted shooting, Brandon witnessed the Jeep, which he recognized as being the same vehicle that T.R. regularly drove. Brandon observed a rifle with a silencer coming out of the rear window of the Jeep, and then Brandon's vehicle was shot once in the front driver's door frame. As Brandon drove away, the Jeep followed, but eventually turned a different direction. This same Jeep observed by Brandon was seized pursuant to a search warrant in November 2019 in Rexburg, Idaho. It is significant that the vehicle TR reportedly regularly drove was still in Rexburg nearly two months after the last known sighting of TR. I am aware through contact with Gilbert and Chandler Police Departments that Lori's husband Charles Vallow was shot on July 11th 2019 by Lori's brother, Alex Cox. Lori Vallow was now married to Chad Daybell from Fremont County, Idaho. Chad Daybell's wife, Tammy Daybell, died in Fremont County, Idaho on October 19, 2019. I was informed that Chad and Lori married approximately two weeks after the death of Tammy Daybell. I later confirmed they were married on November 5th, 2019 on the island of Kauai. Through our investigation, RPD discovered photographs of their wedding on a beach in Hawaii. Neither JV or TR are seen in any of those photographs. On November 27th, 2019, RPD obtained search warrants to search. Number one. Lori Vallow's apartment, located at 565 Pioneer Road, number 175, in Rexburg, Idaho. Number two, Melanie Boudreaux Pawlowski's, Lori Vallow's niece's apartment, located at 565 Pioneer Road, number 174, in Rexburg, Idaho. And number three, Alex Cox. Lori's brother's apartment, 
located at 565 Pioneer Road, number 107 in Rexburg, Idaho. This apartment had nothing in it other than a couple of small items in its garage. All three apartments are part of the same complex. JV was not located at any of the residences. It appeared to me that most of the clothing in Lori's apartment had been removed. Other furniture was still inside the residence. RPD believed that she left Rexburg with Chad Daybell the night of November 26, 2019. Melanie Boudreau later confirmed that Chad and Lori did leave Rexburg the night of the 26th. On November 27, 2019, RPD also served a search warrant on Lori Vallow's storage unit located at Self Storage Plus in Rexburg, Idaho. Inside of the storage unit, we found a blanket with pictures of JV on it, a blanket with pictures of TR on it, a backpack with JV's initials on it, toys that appeared appropriate for a young boy, winter clothing, other children's clothing, bikes, a scooter, and a photo album. RPD was further made aware that the credit slash debit card Lori Vallow provided to Self Storage Plus was declined on January 2nd of 2020. The owner of Self Storage Plus has reported to law enforcement that as, that as regular operating procedure, he had reached out to Lori Vallow by phone, text, an email did not heard back from her. At this time, Lori Vallow has not attempted to provide another debit or credit card to Self Storage Plus. Soon after, we executed the search warrants to find JV at the apartments in Rexburg, Gilbert Police asked us if we had any record of TR. Date of birth, September 24, 2000. TR is Lori Vallow's biological daughter from her marriage to Joseph Ryan, who is deceased. TR has a brother named Colby Ryan. I'm aware that Gilbert Police Department has been in contact with Colby. Colby reports that the last time he spoke to TR was on August 30th, 2019 via FaceTime. He informed Gilbert Police that when he tried to contact TR after August 30th, Lori would give excuses as to why TR could not talk to him. Through our investigation, RPD has been informed that TR moved to Rexburg with Lori on or about September 1st or 2nd, 2019. We have also been informed that Lori told Melanie Gibb that TR was attending classes at BYU, Idaho. However, a records check indicates that TR was never enrolled at BYU, Idaho or any other school affiliated with BYU. RPD verified Lori Vallow moved into the apartment located at 565 Pioneer Road, number 175 in Rexburg with TR and JV on or around September 1st or 2nd, 2019. This information was corroborated by Lori Vallow's neighbors who lived in the same complex in the next door apartment. They saw TR at or around the residence when she moved in with Lori. These same neighbors actually helped Lori Vallow move into her apartment. They saw TR briefly a couple of times after she moved in but have not seen her since the first couple of weeks of September. Their son played with JV multiple times. These same neighbors have further informed us through Detective Stubbs of the RPD that one of their children went to Lori's apartment sometime in late September to play with JV and the child was informed by Lori Vello that JV was not there and that the child was informed by Lori Vello that JV was not there and that he had gone to stay with his grandma. Another neighbor of Lori Vallo, who lived directly across the courtyard from Lori at 565 Pioneer Road, had a doorbell camera that recorded JV outside playing on September 17, 2019. Throughout our investigation, we were able to determine through phone records that TR accompanied Lori Vallo, Alex Cox, 
and JV on a day trip to Yellowstone National Park on September 8, 2019. We have obtained a photograph of TR at the park entrance through the National Park Services. Also, through service of a search warrant, RPD has obtained a photo from Lori Vallow's iCloud account of TR in Yellowstone National Park that is time stamped on September 8, 2019. This photo is the last time we can find any record of TR living with Lori Vallow. We have found no witnesses who can verify they have seen TR since September 8, 2019. RPD has verified that Chad Daybell and Lori Vallow flew from the Los Angeles, California airport to Kauai on American Airlines December 1, 2019. This information was obtained through a search warrant served on American Airlines. Those same records established that JV and TR were not with their mother, Lori Vallow, when she flew to Kauai. I'm aware that Chad and Lori are currently living at 4141 Queen Emma Drive, Unit 3, Princeville, Kauai, Hawaii. Further, I'm aware that on multiple occasions, Chad and Lori checked into the Kauai Beach Resort and that no children checked in with them. That information was provided by an employee of the resort. On December 20th, 2019, Rexburg Police and the FBI published a press release announcing that JV and TR were missing, that RPD was looking for them and asking for the public's help in locating them. Since December 20th, 2019, the case has received national media attention.